Okay guys, I think we are live now. So, hey guys, I'm Vijay Pratap Singh and uh, today, from today I'm starting a series actually and uh, in this series okay. I'm going to publish hey guys, uh, I think video we are live on now. every Sunday and uh, these videos will be related to uh, modeling, sculpting, rendering, lighting and uh, some other stuff basically for uh, beginner and intermediate artist <coughs> so in today's uh, short class we are going to do this model so let's start so basically a lot of people struggle uh, while modeling or sculpting something inside ZBrush that uh, how they should proceed and uh, what tools they should use so today we will use some simple tools and we will make this make this guy let's do this <coughs> so I'm coming here and I'm going to create uh, this spare a simple spare and I think my touch is on yeah fine okay so I'm taking this spare and I don't like the shader as well a, a lot so I will change the shader to this <coughs> okay and uh, so first of all I'm going to start with the body of this fish and for a body I'm going to use this spear because of course this spear is very very close to the overall shape but yeah the looping is like pretty dense so we can do one thing we can uh, come here one thing you have to make sure that uh, don't hit this button make polymers 3d in the starting you have to come here in initialize and then not initialize yeah initialize and then here you will get two values s division and v division so these are basically horizontal division horizontal device horizontal loops and vertical loops so i want to decrease them basically so let's do it suppose this you can type as well it's simple and now if you see we have a nice mesh now you can come here and now you can hit it so hit on the make poly mesh 3d and done and one more thing of course we want to access the symmetry as well so press x on the keyboard and now if you see we have symmetry but before symmetry i want to make the base body seal out if you see it looks like little oval shape which is like more narrow here and more wider here like an egg but this side is like pretty much uh, like pinched so what we have to do come here hit W on the keyboard and uh, when you will hit W on the keyboard you will get this gizmo automatically on the screen you can access this gizmo by hitting on this these buttons as well like move scale or rotate or you can hit W E for scale and R for rotate as well it depends what you use and uh, now I will click on this button and uh, I'm going to use let's say this guy the deformer first this one band curve but right now the direction is not fine I want uh, on this axis so let's come here and yeah so now it's fine this is basically for changing the axis and now if you see we just have two points right now and uh, but you can add more points by using this uh, curvature resolution so come here and drag it like this and now you can move your model like this easily and if you see we are getting nice curvature nice shape and uh, yeah the weight is you can see the weight it is like uh, uh, it is more heavy on the bottom side of course so you can do this you can do this little bit like that like that so whenever you are starting uh, with your mesh with your basic shape make sure to keep your mesh little low because uh, low mesh always help you to make your proportions and shapes uh, uh, easy hi Lucas <laughs> okay so like that and uh, <coughs> I made it like this 
and now we can just hit W on the keyboard for uh, shutting that stuff and now we just uh, now we just only here having the gizmo okay again hit W uh, Q on the keyboard Q means edit mode and now we have a pretty good shape here now I will take my move brush you can access move brush by hitting B and V as well okay let me change the color so B and V you can hit on this you can hit this as well on keyboard so you will get this brush okay so but now if you see this body is more heavier in the starting and more narrow on the back side and but here it is like balanced so we can make it so zoom out your model it is important because whenever you are uh, going to change the proportion of your model you have to uh, little bit zoom out because then your brush size will be bigger but yeah for getting this effect you have to switch off the dynamic okay what is the use of dynamic i will of course i will just uh, explain this thing as well but little later so now come here and i will move the space like this i will make this thing more heavy like this like this you can see you move brush is actually very good for fixing your proportions so yeah like this work from every angle like top bottom random angles perspective three four like various angles don't uh, keep working from one angle only because if you will keep working from one angle maybe you will mess up with some other angle and uh, yeah like that and I always whenever I start work on anything I always uh, try to first spend time uh, more and more on my basic stuff because if your basic is fine then whole thing is gonna fine but if your basic is uh, or you rest for details you rest for making the fanciest stuff like okay let's make this let's make this of course you will lose the shape the silhouette the silhouette so first we have to achieve the silhouette the volume the thickness of this design and then we have to proceed further but yeah one more thing uh, one more bad thing and that is triangles if you see we have triangles here and we have triangles here as well so that is not good actually for our mesh so i will come in geometry and then um, in remeasure and i will make this value pretty low let's make it uh, 0.2 or 0.3 something let's see and then make sure your symmetry is on because then only you will get the mirror or topology so come here and hit on this and let's see yeah i think we can even make make it more low point one let's see <coughs> yeah pretty good so this is like very low poly and very nice so i'm uh, using this uh, mesh here it's pretty good and if you see we have got the shape very good i'm making the bottom of the fish even more uh, uh, heavy and even the face little bit more heavy like that right now my perspective is off if you see you can also switch on your perspective if you want generally i work with perspective in some other class i will also explain like uh, what is the difference and like how uh, like many artists get confused uh, like uh, should they use this thing perspective or not so i will explain that as well okay so we have made we, we have made this thing and now we will proceed further so basically now we are going to make the fins actually these fins because i i think we have a good enough basic shape for the body so <coughs> i will come here and then i will come here let's take this box it's a simple primitive and now shift and click on this brush icon so your uh, color will be like same on all the sub tools and now move it like this and right now the mesh is like pretty much pretty high so we can come here uh, on poly groups and i'm going to use group by normals so basically group by normals how it works basically uh, right now if you see this plane and this plane has 90 degree of angle between them like this whole plane and this whole plane 
and this option says that if any two polys has more than 45 degree of angle then this this guy this button will apply different different poly groups on them so of course it's a box so every plane has 90 degree of angle so of course it will divide poly groups pretty easily here let's do this let's use it so click on this and see we have uh, different different primitives in uh, every here like every side so now let's come here and squeeze it a little bit like this and right now if you see we have like bad triangles here so I'm going to fix it let's see how so in geometry and then uh, remeasure we can come here and we can make it point 0.1 very low poly and then keep groups make it zero because I don't want any smoothness and let's hit remeasure again yeah and now it's see pretty simple pretty easy mesh like this but yeah this fin is like more narrow on the top and more wider on the bottom so basically we can do one thing we can come here and we can take the deformer and I don't want this middle of like loop so come here and by dragging down this button you can remove it <coughs> and now how to select it it's pretty it's like it's like latest latest tool of your Maya so just uh, come here by holding control alt select like this and now you can make it narrow like this yeah cool and now hit W again okay so it looks good very nice it's still if uh, if you see basically if we have this green uh, locator here green arrow if you will move it it will bend see like that so fine then and now we just have to make it little curvy we have the move brush just make it like this uh, first make sure your symmetry is on yeah it's on so now come here and now we can make it like this this <coughs> so it's a very easy tool basically and now we can place our shape so hit W on the keyboard and now we are placing it like this yeah, okay. one one thing I want here that actually if you see this fin this is completely straight from this angle I want to make it a little bit more uh, uh, good so hit W on the keyboard again and again come here and hit deformer and uh, what I want actually I want to make this end more thicker so let's come here control alt and now make it more thick like this little bit same here little bit and make this thing more narrow like this so see it looks more nice now same thing we can do for uh, the back fin so for the back fin again we will come and we will take a box and now again we will go in here group by normals and then geometry you can come in keep oh sorry so you can come in remeasure and then keep groups zero i don't want smoothness and uh, target poly count make it very light very uh, point one is good and now let's hit on this so see again we have a very nice low poly mesh and uh, my symmetry is also on and now what we can do we can come and we can scale it like this and like this and now if you see basically uh, we have to make the uh, this fin as, as well but yeah the looping is weird so we will come here and we will delete these loopings select your z modeler brush you can also hit b z M on the keyboard and you will get your VZ modeler brush here so delete these delete this and now it's very easy control alt select this make it like this control alt hit W on the keyboard again this button is for this button works as center pivot so you can hit on this again like this and we can do the same thing here like this and now if you see it looks very nice but yeah the angle here see the angle it's like going below going down so we have to select 
this you can again select like control alt and select like this hit w on the keyboard center pivot and move it like this and see now we have this shape as well and again we can come here control alt and then hit center pivot and now we can come here like this yeah but yeah if you see actually uh, this thing is pretty short here so basically we can use again our control alt button hit w on the keyboard and now we can do this and then again we can do this like that <coughs> and same thing I want here as well so I will come here I will hit on center pivot I will come here and make this thing a little bit thicker like this control alt a little bit narrow yeah fine and now we will make the eyes so let's come and I will come here I will take one this pair yeah this and just scale it down from by using the gizmo and if you see because it's a, a stylized uh, cartoon model so the eyes are like uh, oval actually so or ellipse shape basically so we have to make it little like this and now we have to come and we have to fix the eyes rotate a little bit and now like this and now we have to mirror the eyes as well we can insert a little bit more yeah like just like this a little bit short fine and now i want to mirror this thing so basically i can come here and z plugin and sub tool master and then mirror so basically i have uh, uh, shortcuts uh, for accessing all these stuffs but basically Today is like first video so that's why I want to make it simple I don't want to confuse people so basically hit on this and then see merge into one sub tool so merge into one sub tool means uh, the sub tool you want to mirror here you want in a single layer or different layers so I want in a single layer right so basically I will keep this setting on merge into one sub tool and then this is access so access line so now we will come and hit ok <coughs> and then see we have uh, eyes here but eyes looks little bit less uh, wide I will come here make sure your <coughs> symmetry is working and now we have to make this little thick so make it a little thick like that yeah. fine also I want to divide my body one more time control D so by hitting Ctrl G or by hitting on this button you can divide your model so let's divide it like this and now say it looks uh, more nice yeah and now what we have to make the base uh, these wings the smaller wings so I will come on this sub tool I will copy this mid copy this layer so duplicate and see now I, ha I have copied this layer what you can do now go in deformation and uh, we have mirror option here but we want in y axis basically so switch off this and switch on the y and then hit mirror uh, okay i think we are we want in z axis yeah so now see in z axis we have the fence so let's come here make it smaller later we will yeah come here like that and we have to bend it like this yeah. and if you see it's very thin actually so we will come here and we will uh, make it thick so I think it's tilted a little bit again I will angle this thing yeah so now we can make it thin the scale down and like this a little bit more thick and now you can place it like this so we will come here and we will place here like this but if you see this end is actually here if you see this part is flat so we will come here B, M, V, move brush and it's very easy you can move, use move brush uh, again switch off the dynamic 
and now you can move it like this now see it's very easy to do this hey Pranay how are you Pranay are you happy with your life <laughs> Okay, so we will come and let's make it a little small. I want to make it a little small. I want to put it like this and I want to put it somewhere here. So now it looks nice. Yeah, and uh, I want to little, I want to do, I want to like take it a little bit. So take this like this. So then it feels more like a fin. Uh, now we can mirror it. So for mirroring again, we will come here and hit our mirror. And now you can do this. And again, you can switch on the symmetry. Cool then. So right now I will just uh, make two and later we will make uh, them all. And now we will come here if you see we have uh, one uh, dish uh, uh, tortoise or turtle like shell as well so we have to make it so right now what i'm doing i'm just making all the uh, basic uh, tools here and uh, for making this i will come and i will mask this piece so by holding control you can paint the masking like this like that and now you can hit control w on the keyboard see like this and now you can hit uh, again what i'm going to do i'm going to make a duplicate of this layer so make a duplicate of this layer like this in the duplicated layer delete the subdivision we don't need it here okay and now go in solo mode so in solo mode you can only see the selected layer object and now you can hit control shift and click so only this poly group will be visible and that one will be hidden and now you can come here now we can come here <laughs> so now we can come here and first we will delete the hidden part so geometry and modify topology and then delete the hidden part okay but right now if you see our edges are completely bricked and we have to make it correct so we will come here and uh, edge loops basically and group loops okay so hit on this when you will hit on this you can see my stuff is completely fine and do this so what it is basically doing uh, this is a group loop option if you see the values four it means uh, this button or this guy will use four loops for making these or for fixing these edges and making them round as well okay so those four loops uh, like uh, they will they will get arranged in a way that you will get a proper looping approximate and also they will fix this uh, cutting actually so let's come here so loops like the count is four by default keep it like that and g polish is actually the percentage of smoothing like what power you want in your smoothing if you will s switch off to zero like make it zero and now hit see you will only get the four loops one two three and four so this is the fourth one and then th uh, third and then second and then first okay so these four guys are actually working for fixing the silhouette but yeah of course we have just off uh, the smoothness so that's why it's not working undo this so we have to put the default value here you can put any higher value as well it's fine you can make it hundred as well it, it will work good but i will keep it like this only and then do this and now if you see we have multiple polygroups here i want to make it very simple so hit control w done control w means so when you hit control w it will assign a single polygroup on your model and uh, cool then so now we will come but yeah i want uh, more accurate mesh here so i will come and uh, i will hit on zero measure okay and i will keep the value very small and uh, 0 0.01 okay let's hit it and see now i have uh, a very nice mesh one more thing whenever you are remeshing and your model is symmetry make sure your symmetry is open Anna? 
if your symmetry will be off maybe you will get different mesh at this side and different mesh at that side so make sure of this thing and now we will come here and hit on this and see cool and now we can fix it little bit like this like this like this like this but yeah the mesh flow and the shape is very good and now see and now what we can do actually we can um, do one thing if you see it is coming more below here huh? so we can come here and use your move brush again and I will move this piece like this do this uh, and then see for pulling my surface out of this fish skin I will use alt so when you will hold alt hey Shashwat Indra how are you so when uh, when you will hold alt and pull it will come straight out of the surface like this see and now we can do this so let's do this so again don't rush for details don't rush for extruding it don't rush for anything uh, like spend some time on your basic stuff spend some time on your looping uh, try to uh, make your model mesh very good from the beginning from the starting and uh, so I'm not rushing so yeah like this and when you are thinking that okay now you are getting uh, shape silhouette then start uh, tweaking or then start dividing your model so yeah so now we have a nice uh, silhouette here and now I'm going to use again the model brush um, so let's do it <laughs> yeah nice to see you Sashwat after many days <laughs> and uh, now we have to come here let's uh, so what you have to do you have to come on any face on if on make sure you have to come on any face only if you will select any like vertex or edge and if you will hold a space bar you will get different different options so you have to come to any face hold a space bar and then you have to come in here polygon island and now you can extrude it and you can see we have a nice thickness so i think this thickness is fine for the shell and see very nice and basically if you see i need uh, this thing as well on the edge so what i will do here i will come on the if you see after extruding we have a different polygroup here so we can take the advantage we can come here my this thing is already selected just extrude it one more time like this and see like that and now we can extrude this piece uh, i can make it more wide little bit yeah and now we can do this see like that so you can see now we have uh, the shell border as well so it's uh, like very easy and uh, very fast bmb move brush so i'm taking move brush back switch off the dynamic we don't need it now and now i want to snap it more properly to the body of course uh, the body needs more work and it needs more still out change we'll do it we'll do that um, yeah fine and now what i'm going to like to work on the proportion stuff more so what i will do because right now if you see we have a lot of layers here now so and one more very important thing very very important thing save your files like saving the file is the first important stuff so it is the fish yes okay and uh, now we can do one thing because right now my every layer is uh, in like divided different different layers we have so suppose if you have to scale something suppose you have to scale only the eyes and fin then of course you have to struggle a little bit you have more easy option here just come here hit on transpose and then you can hit on t pose mesh so what this option will do this option will uh, merge all the layers together like this okay and then you can fix your proportion so what i want actually i want to hide everything else how how i'm doing this if you s turn on the wireframe so i'm opening the wireframe by this button you can also click or uh, hit shift f on the keyboard actually and uh, now if you see uh, we can just hit Control shift and click on the part you want to work so I wanted to work on the body I hit it on that 
and now see everything else is completely hidden and now I can work on it so basically BMV move brush again and I want to make this body more fat more fatty so let's do this so from bottom yeah and if you see it is a uh, more uh, curvy from the uh, top as well so we will come here and we will make the top part even more curvy if you see my mesh is like uh, pretty low because I, al I always say like uh, when uh, people are learning something uh, especially inside ZBrush uh, using our low poly mesh is very good sometimes we have to use the sculpt press and dyna mesh as well but yeah if you have option to keep your mesh low that is best yeah like that fine and I want to make my face a little bit more curvy and if you see here we have the mouth so mouth part should be more like mouth so we will come here we will move this part little out see it's a small change but uh, these things matters actually so if you see I move the mouth part little bit down see like that so these things actually a very small change see it's a small plane change only but yeah this will of course it will give you more uh, accuracy when you will divide your model so do this and one more thing because it's uh, like it's everywhere like suppose our face our head our head is actually narrow than the lower body right so the same thing it is going to happen here we have to make the upper body little bit narrow like this like this little bit not too much and keep the bottom body little bit like broad if you see like that so if you see we did very nice changes on this subdivision and now we can do one thing so let's see by hiding all the other sub tools so control shift and click on the background on the canvas so control shift and hit and see like that but if you see my some parts are mismatched so it's no problem just come here control shift and click okay and then uh, you can mask by control and hit on the background control shift and click in the canvas again inverse the masking you can hit control i as well okay so control plus i for inversing the masking okay okay and now let's come here center pivot and we will move it like this like that and i will make the eyes even more bigger yep and more rotated yep so right now it's pretty low poly that's why the intersection is uh, happening like it looks a little weird but when we'll, when we will soften the model it will look good so keep it like this it's no problem here and now if you see my shell is gone it is gone inside so we can come here again and we can pull our part again by using alt button so i'm using alt with my move brush and then i can easily move it and if you see it much bigger so i want to make it a little bit more less like that yeah so i think this much is good maybe we can hang a little bit more yeah fine and uh, now if you see it is more round actually so for making it more round you can do one more thing for just a beauty stuff you can come here and you can increase a little bit this inflate so inflate is going to increase the inner thickness actually and if you will decrease the value it will thin if it, it, if you will increase the value it will again get thickened so now it's fine and now if you see we have to uh, this fin is like little bit short so what we'll do we'll do one thing hit w on the keyboard and then control and click on the part you want to work suppose i want to work on this part so control and click like that and then see i can only unmask this part and everything else is masked so that that is like pretty good and now we can do one thing if you see this part is pretty flat this edge is pretty flat but here it's uh, we have an arc so we can make it flat like that see it's very easy by using the move brush very very easy like that and one more thing right now this looping is like stopping us so what we can do busy modeler brush take this brush and then delete this we don't need it how you have to delete it just hold alt button and click on it and see they all will be deleted 
and now we can do one thing control alt select this loop select these two vertex and then center pivot and now if you see my orientation is wrong here i don't want like this unlock this lock and hit on this next option so it will recenter or it will fix your orientation now you can again lock it back and now you can come and you can do this so ye kar sakte ho fir aap log do this like that yeah okay and one more thing we will do control sh control alt again and uh, center pivot move it little bit again like that i want to keep the curve little curvy here so i'm not making it flat okay like that so now it looks good and overall we can do one more thing okay the height is fine i think good and now we will come here so basically if you see uh, we don't have any subdivision here we can do one thing uh we can come here and we can add some looping like this mm, yeah so if now if you see we have some curve here and we can make those curves so control alt control alt and then center pivot and now make some curve like this and now see we have a nice curve here the same thing we can do here if you see this part is actually very very small so we can come and we can okay so right now we have box masking we can also take lasso so lasso is very fast and very handy in these kinds of situations so hold control you will get your mask pen and now you will come here in mask lasso tool and basically come mask these vertices and then inverse them by hitting control and click on the canvas and then uh, we will soften this part a little bit like this so how to soft control and click and now hit w and then send a pivot and i want to set the pivot more here okay and then do one thing again sharpen this thing and yeah now do this see so now we change the size of this thing and uh, fine and this thing looks fine i just want to make it little bit thick so let's do one thing hit w control and click and then local symmetry you can switch on this thing because if you will uh, scale this thing see it will run like this so basically if you are facing this trouble here you can do one thing you can come here and you can switch on the local symmetry basically so if you will switch on the local symmetry now see it will work perfectly like this okay so now i want to kill with thickness like this this thickness is good actually and uh, yeah so now we have a very nice uh, shape here so okay so because uh, i have updated my looping here so that's why it's saying that i can't go back it's fine because that's the beauty of uh, working in low poly mesh because we don't have any retail here so come here we will come here we will come in split and then uh, you can see i have uh, group split here so group group split is going to split the mesh according to the poly groups okay so if you see i have accurate polygroups like same here different here different here different here different here and same on these two uh, the below one so it's perfect so just come here and hit on this and hit okay and see done boom so cool then and uh, now we will, what we will do save this file once more keep saving your file okay and now i think uh, Uh, we can duplicate these uh, fins as well so let's come here and let's duplicate the layer by hitting on this button the shortcut is control shift t so control shift t and then we can come here rotate this little bit smaller and then we can do this so i i'm keeping one here and one more i need here so let's duplicate one more and now i want a little bit more smaller and more like this and more close to the body and more on the top like this yeah so i'm keeping like this a little bit more and bmb move brush i want to insert this part more inside by moving my by using my um, move brush and one more thing i will come here i will switch off the dynamic because i want to control my brush size effectively so come here and do this do this 
do this, do this, do this. And now if you see, it looks nice. Yeah, like that. Fine then, so uh, we made the fins as well. And now we can do one thing. Like this fin is like too much. Uh, I want it tilted a little bit. Yeah, like that. So these things are actually you have to any I want to close it see right now the direction is like this I want to make them like this and then more closer like this so I think that will look more nice so do this yeah it's fine cool then and uh, now we can uh, we have to do one thing we have to weld all these stuffs actually because they are they all are welded so especially these pins and the body so we will do one thing uh, let's come here let's select the body and I will do one thing so uh, like uh, whenever you have confusion like where you have the layers for making the merging process easy I do one thing just click on this layer alt and click for selecting this layer and then shift and click on this button so your sub tool will be reaching on the top okay then come on this again shift and click again come here shift and click again come here shift and click and on this one now shift and click and on that this one and now we can do one thing and that one thing is let's come and let's divide this model so right now control D so see when we hit control D it is softening little bit more so what I'm going to do I want to come and I want to do one thing busy model of brush take this brush and I want to add symmetry on so right now my symmetry I think it's in okay so okay local symmetry is on I think switch off this thing and now yeah so now it will work so and because we don't have the center loop that's why it's not working so how you will get the center loop actually you have to come on uh, geometry and then you have to come on here mirror and well hit on this and see now we have the center loop so now you can come here and you can access the symmetry uh, pretty well okay it's and now come here again okay we will come here and let's add here and then do this divide the model so let's see so this is good actually I want to keep it I want to come here let's divide this this is good divide this good divide this good I want to divide this piece as well little bit like this and I want to divide this thing as well so yeah we can again add some looping here and uh, this and now see like that control D yeah fine so I divided my dish mesh as well and now if you see we have some nice shape now again I can go for move brush and uh, we can make more accurate fin here if you see after softening we have loose some shape so we can come here and we will move this piece and we will make it more curvy a bit curvy like this yeah. and this thing I will move more so move brush is actually very very good for uh, fixing the proportions and stuff and if you see we are getting an arc here a curve so let's do this make sure your symmetry is working if you will switch off the symmetry it is also fine but yeah symmetry will help you to complete or to make your shape fast so let's do this like that okay fine so now we have made it and uh, everything is done I think I think we can make it a little bit more close like this yeah and we can make it even more close like this and now we can even make it more close like this fine we can also divide the shell as well so let's do it I will come here and let's divide the shell so control D and control D and very nice shape we are getting actually see it is getting round automatically and uh, one thing I don't want I don't I want to keep this edge sharp so use your Z modeler brush and now add some looping here like this and solo mode 
I want one looping here as well. Okay, fine. Switch off the solo mode. Go in move brush. Switch off for dynamic. And now divide it. And now if you see this edge will be sharpened like that. So it looks good. It's fine. Cool. And now we have to merge all these stuffs in a single layer. So we will merge it. So let's uh, come here. Merge them. Always okay. So it won't ask again. Hit on this again. So how I'm merging it? You can come here and uh, you can hit on this merge down option. So this will merge all the down layers you know, of your selected one. So come here and tap like that. One more like that. One more like that. Done. And now you can come here. You can delete if you have subdivisions. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, make it dynamic so that uh, we can actually build all these parts. So we will come here and uh, we will come here and uh, we will hit on dynamesh and now if you see my everything is connected and uh, for making these things more softened you can do one thing come in deformation and then you can use this polish and see like that so my body is getting very very soft now you can see it looks very nice now do more do more more and more yeah that's enough i think more than enough yeah like that fine now so now we will do one thing we will come here in sub tool and we will make it remesh so that we will get our final mesh so let's come here and because we have uh, every shape and stuff there so i will keep the value little high like um, so we will come here let's make it two let's see what kind of mesh we will get so make sure symmetry is open okay i think two symmetries are working yeah now fine so let's hit on this pum 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 let's see what we will get and 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 boom and see a uh, very beautiful uh, mesh we have got here it looks very nice very beautiful and uh, so this will be the final mesh and now we can add some soften here we can do we can do here we can do here it is fine and we can also if you see this part is not that hard this part looks very hard so soften this part as well little bit for blending purpose we can make it more long and like right now you don't have to cut all these stuffs huh? this thing is very easy in the end so we can uh, cut these fins like uh, in the end so easily so don't hurry for this don't rush for this and yeah cool so now we have this but yeah now we will start uh, on the shapes of the fish and uh, we will make it more close with the concept so save this file for fish yeah so if you see basically uh, we have a nice uh, bulge uh, here around the eyes so you can come you can uh, divide your mesh one more time if you want also the eyes we can divide it one more time so it will look softened and nice so i'm just uh, using ctrl g for dividing actually you can use the uh, divide button as well from here depends on you and now we will come let's do this so now we will come here and so i'm using simple standard brush for uh, doing this thing and one thing you have to notice here that I am working from a distance actually uh, so if you will work from a distance your uh, uh, shapes and your like whatever step you are making you can see them more better and even you can make the shapes more fast okay so I did this and if you see we have some nice creases here very sharp creases so we will make them as well so B them is standard brush see this and now we can make it more sharp like this like that and then if you see we again have some like uh, bulge here so what we will do B S T standard brush and now we will come here and we will do this Okay, do this. 
this. we can again come on B and then standard brush and now we can clean up the shape here so let's come and add some depth here like that and again BST standard brush and you can make it more like this So I'm smoothing somewhere wherever I feel to smooth by holding shift button you can do that and now I want to pull this skin as well little bit so come here and turn on the low poly mesh so low poly mesh always help you uh, and now what we will do control and mask this part like this so I'm using lasso simple like that like that and now what inverse this then soften this not soften this okay let's do this and because soften is like because it's a low poly mesh so after softening we are getting much softer effects so don't we don't want that yeah like that see we can sharpen this thing and we can even move to the skin more like this so it's a very nice thing so masking help you a lot in many ways and if you see it looks very nice we can soften this part and now what we can divide our model yeah, like that and now if you see uh, we have uh, the lip here but if you see we have less gapping here so we have to increase the gapping so what we can do now we can come here in uh, Z plugin and then we can come in T pose mesh again and now we can control shift and click on the eyes again do the same and now we can do one thing mask this part so I will take the manual masking and switch on your mask symmetry and now control shift inverse and then and hide everything like that and now soften this thing so control and click and now we can do one thing just control alt and click so alt and click will recenter your gizmo at the clicked place like where you will click at that place so do this and now you can do this and now we can move it a little bit more see automatically we are getting gapping and i think this gapping is enough for this and uh, i want to make some more changes here so let's control shift and click and uh, bmd move brush and i want to make my uh, lower body even more bulgy like this and I want to make my this part like a bit more curvy I want to make my this curve yeah more curvy like this and more heavy as well yeah. yep. and now we will come here soften this thing so it will be more organic yeah like that and now I think we are pretty good with the shape and now control shift click on the eyes again or you can, can so control and click okay so you can do this inverse and now we can change the size yeah fine and now i think we are going good with the shapes and all so come here and then hit on this yeah like that and now if you see we have a nice shell effect on the top so basically we can come here and now first of all if you see my cell like the silver is getting little distorted so we will use move brush and we will fix it it's very easy by move brush for fixing all these stuffs like that yeah like that And little bit softness, smoothness. Yeah, fine. And I want to make this curve like edges more curvy. So B I N 
inflate brush you can take them manually as well uh, the shortcut is B I N so come here and make them more curvy so by inflate brush again you can change the thickness of anything yeah so I want this thickness here and now see it looks very nice and now if you uh, again let's save the file because it's very important bad luck can come anytime <laughs> so better keep saving your files so now come here and I will soften the mid part little bit yeah like this and yeah okay fine and now what we can do actually if you see here uh, we can do one thing first of all I want to make this part a little bit more curvy so because uh, before adding details if you can do this do that because that will be more beneficial for you see a little bit more curvy and I want to make it a little bit more yeah, fine yeah and adjust the silhouette so these things you have to do before detailing yeah now it looks good yeah and now we can come here and we can use a slash brush or damage standards so I want to make it more even harder so come here and uh, we will come and let's see so we it's very simple just uh, draw these lines according to you and yeah I want to divide even more so divide one more time and see now it looks nice so that's how you can so we have uh, even more ways uh, for uh, applying uh, these details but today we will follow this so whenever your shape is not getting accurate better to undo yeah now it looks good and now let's do this so here we need only one segment and you can do one more thing because right now it's completely symmetrical so you can brick it as well you can come here and you can let's say I want to make it like this not like this yeah like this and I want to make it like this I want to do this or I want to do this so when it looks good then only uh, we will yeah I think it looks good and uh, I think we can one make one here as well here as well fine but yeah if you see it looks puffy uh, like from the top so what you have to do for getting this puffiness actually I will do one thing BCV clay brush clay brush is a very uh, nice brush actually and we know that at this part we have used uh, symmetry so I will come here and add some clay see, like this so if you see you have to make sure that uh, you don't have to do extra sculpting here you know? like just uh, uh, sculpting in the block like this and now come here do the same like this let's see if it's not uh, difficult at all and now you can come here you can do the same now you can come here and you can do the same and now switch off the symmetry we don't need it And again you can do the same thing here and again you can do the same thing here and we can do the same thing here so clay brush is actually clay build up or clay brush these brushes are actually very good for building or for for creating the volumes um, 
And now what you have to do is just soften. So come here and I will soften this part a little bit like this. Soften in a way that your creases will get sharpened and all the middle parts will get softened. You know, like that, like this, like this. So right now it's only one pass. You know, before you do one more pass or two more pass, then it will look nice. Again, do the same thing here. Same thing here. If you see this feels very nice we will come again right now it's late night very late night in India I don't I don't know how many people are from India and how many people are from outside only three people are here mm, cool so now uh, we made this thing as well and now let's come and let's divide this model one more time like this and now see what I want to do I want to soften this part so we will get the crease even more accurate see like that a little bit more yeah like that so do this yeah. and again I want to come be standard brush and I want to Polish this thing a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Again, soften. <coughs> cool, then. And now uh, we have to come here and uh, we have to soften this part a little bit. So, BST standard brush and make this edge a little bit sharp. I will make the bottom uh, eyelid even more bulky. Yeah, like that. And now see, it looks very nice. Yeah. And we will come here as well. We can make some folds here. So it will look more nice, like this. And a little bit here as well like this and soften it a little bit yeah. we will come here let's make a little bit here some small folds and let's make some here as well and sharpen this part a little bit little bit this soften this thing again yeah cool and now we have to make the lip part as well so we will come B then standard or slash brush let's just slash and then yeah so here we can make it and let's divide one more time yeah so now it's even more softened and let's uh, do this and if you see uh, this guy looks very small and he is like his uh, like uh, his inner lip is like uh, pressed so B I inflate brush and we can come here and we can make this thing here yeah like that and then BC weekly brush little bit yeah well this part I see so we have to blend it a little bit like that yeah. and uh, now soften this part a little bit BM remove brush and we can do this yep yep and then B dem standard or B slash brush by using slash brush also we can make the sides of the lip so come here and we will make the sides so like this yep. 
And now we will do one thing. We will take the lasso. We will mask uh, the lower lip. So mask the lower lip. And like that. BMB move brush. And let's make it like this. And drop in the edge. We don't want there as yeah like that. So now if you see it looks very nice. P the standard brush. I want to polish the eyes a little bit more. A little bit soften. Divide the eyes more. Yeah. And B and standard. I want to add some stretching a little bit. Um, here on the body, yeah, like that. It's a very small wrinkle here, very subtle, and a little bit here as well. Fine, cool. So, we are done with this. We can also make some folds here, like this. here as well and this fold is like even more harder cool then and now uh, we can divide the eyes one more time I think yep and let's come on this thing and we can polish this thing more okay and now divide one more time and now we can polish this thing even more so damage standard brush so damage standard brush is actually very nice and we can fit this this border thing as well so come here yeah make it like this and then we can do this mm one more yeah okay like that so down the standard brush is actually very good uh, for cutting the surface or you can make wrinkles you can add damage by using this single brush it's it's a very nice brush very powerful So right now I don't uh, want too much polish stuff because they will be done automatically. Yeah. And now this. So I'm uh, making it without symmetry. And now the shell looks. Uh, very nice some damage here and there as well and this thing let's say I want like this then like this then like this and here I want like this like this like that So now the shell looks uh, very nice and we can add some damage here and there like this. Okay cool. And now uh, you can also come because this is here we have used symmetry so you can also make some patterns as well some simple patterns like that so right now I am doing uh, uh, all these stuff totally uh, manually because I don't want to use uh, 
fancy stuff right now. And it looks good. Nice. Now again we can come here. Just make some simple patterns here. Like this. And now we can come here. So this uh, don't make them like very harsh. Like this and just still looks so good. They are very subtle. Like this. So make go uh, everywhere in the same pattern. And now if you see these edges are like completely round, they are not like this. So I will decrease the subdivision level of my fish. And uh, you have to make it very smooth. And also use some inflate brush and make it round. Like this. Yeah. So B and the move brush. Yeah, so now it looks very smooth. And same here, if right now the edges are like very very sharp, so you have to go in low poly, soften them, and then use some inflate brush, like that. Same thing here. Yeah, like, these should be like very round here, and this thing should be like very very round here. So make it, you know, like this. Cool then, now I want to fill some colors uh, on this guy, so let's do this. So first I want to fill the green tone basically. I want to come here and then I want to fill the green tone like this one. A little bit darker and desaturated, let's say this. I want to come select this piece, color, and let's take this to here. Yeah. And now we can do one thing. So let's come here. And we can do one thing. And just uh, fill up that. And done. I think a little bit more. Uh, less. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, this thing looks good. And uh, if you see the border is like even more lighter. So I want to make uh, like move it more yellowish. Little bit greenish, but close to yellow. And yeah, this thing will look good. And now we will come, switch off this, switch on the RGB. And I will paint this, so use, use the symmetry, you can use the symmetry now. And we can even make it more yellowish. Yeah, like this. So right now I'm just keeping it uh, very simple like this and it looks good it looks very nice and now in the base model i want to apply this tone so let's say this yeah and now the brighter tone the light tone and paint on all the light parts like this so keep a little bit here Okay, put a little bit here. On the bottom body, we will keep a little bit. Yeah. So if you see, we have more tone in the bottom. So fill the white tones here. And the upper part, basically. Just keep a little bit of it. Yeah. This part, I want white. I want even these wings white, 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 yeah, like 
add and now I want to come on my eyelid let's change the shader so I will come here and I will assign toy plastic so right now we have to fill the toy plastic on the eyes so switch off the RGB and switch on the M M for material so I'm going to paint the material on the eyes see right now my eyes is selected M should be on and then you have to hit fill object like that it's done now you can change your shader to anything like that see on the eyes we have that shiny shiny shader so now if you see this part is completely white and the eyes looks very yellowish so we will come here a little bit desaturated like this and let's see oops make sure now you switch on this RGB because we have to paint colors and yeah this but yeah little bit bright I think this thing looks good a little bit even more yeah so now this thing looks good and uh, we have to come and we can use circular masking and then we can do this we can divide one more time I time I think so divide one more time and then we can do this mask and then inverse and we have to fill the black color here so almost black fill this like that and now if you see uh, there is more uh, uh, greenish tone on the bottom so again undo keep this masking and now select the stone a little bit like this and now come here and now fill in the bottom see like that yeah it looks very nice And I, I can also paint some white tone here. You can come, you can come here, and you can paint some uh, white tone here. Let's paint some like that. Yeah. Some specular highlights from your side. Yeah. And now it looks very nice. Now we will come here. If you see in all the darker part we can fill the dark tone actually so we will come we will select this piece so basically by uh, using this locator and dragging it onto your model it will pick the color so let's say see I can pick the same color now and let's make it a little bit more darker and now we will come here uh, in uh, masking basically you have to come in uh, mask my cavity and do this so all the cavity part will be masked you have to inverse this and after inversing you have to fill this color tone on all the depth parts see now it looks very nice so you can do this I will, I will fill this thing like that and now uh, what again undo this and inverse it okay in the in the upper part we need some lighter tone so now make it light and all the top part on the top part we can do this like this like here like somewhere here little bit here little bit here little bit here little bit here like that little bit here here here, here. and then now see we have it looks uh, uh, more nice but yeah now if you see the blending is gone we don't have that much blending here so i want some mid tone now and i want to blend a little bit manually without masking so let's come and do this in all these uh, depth part i want to fill this dark tone a little bit yeah little bit overall as well like that and now i want a little bit more darker tone and see blend them a little bit you can also soften by holding shift button yeah see it will look nice and see it looks very nice now we can fill some darker tone on the bottom plate as well here like this yeah a little bit and more yellowish here so let's come here more yellowish on the top Rain part, this part, and even more lighter. Yeah, like that. Like that. Cool. And 
and one more thing I can do I will come I will take the black tone because it's a cartoon model so you can also pay, paint some shadows so I will come here and I will paint some shadows here like this so it's like fake stuff but yeah we can do it do, it, do this let's do this like that as you see we have some shading here now and we can do the same thing little bit here around the eyes yeah. little bit uh, we can pick the same color tone and make it more darker and little bit here and little bit brighter tone a little bit less yeah and now if you see it looks uh, very nice and one more thing is remaining that uh, this thing uh, uh, the fins are actually cut here so you can do one thing you can uh, right now we have the body here so let's say uh, let's take one spare and now move it here like this you can squeeze it you can come here you can turn on light boolean you can hit on this and now see we can do this pretty easily and so if you will turn on the wireframe you will see that uh, what is happening see this is happening actually it's a model it's a object here so switch off this again and uh, yep yeah, i will i want to make this thing another uh, the, uh, the second one as well so hit W on the keyboard, control and drag, so it will duplicate the shape. So now duplicate, and I want to shuffle this little bit here, like that. More smaller, yeah, like that. And now I want to, again, control and drag, and move it here, like this. And now see, we have the same thing here, little bit tilt, maybe, mm, like this. And now we can come here, control and drag again. And this piece is actually pretty wide. So we can make it wide. Yeah. And control and drag again. Here we just need a little bit very like very very thinner. Some breakup like that. Again control and drag, rotation. So keep changing with the rotation with the sizes. And uh, yeah, like that. And now you can again come here, control and drag. So by ho like holding control and drag, I'm like duplicating it again and again, like this again. But yeah, more or less size. I see it looks very nice, uh, like this. And now I want to break my these fins as well. So control and drag again, and I want to move them here switch on the wireframe so you can see the model like where it is so now we are here at the right place switch off and now see so this thing is not break so i don't want to break it and let's come here and yeah see this so we can put it here somewhere yeah fine and now we can come here the this thing yeah like that little less yeah. even more less yeah, like that so this thing looks good you can also mirror this thing so let's mirror this and if you see we have the same thing on the opposite side and uh, it looks uh, nice cool so now you can come here and uh, render and you can preview shadows make them one so now you will get some nice hard shadows here so cool then uh, now you can like uh, also i will show you like how you can make some uh, nice renders um, on uh, inside zbrush but some uh, other video another day i think and uh, you can also turn on some triple s for the skin so come here and 
you, you can use this wax slider actually it will act, add some waxy effect on the skin but yeah you have to switch on one thing from here mm, render settings render properties and wax preview and you can make it even more higher and if you see now it looks uh, very nice very waxy and feels looks very good and you can take some the screenshots now so okay so i think it's <laughs> the screen to sort is some problem with the, the screen i think maybe too much wax yeah pom 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 oh my god yeah it came yeah nice so somehow it came oh gone <laughs> okay okay so it's a puzzle game uh, if you have it on your pc you can you can play if you don't have then watch this video again <laughs> okay fine so that's how we can do you can also make turntable and blah blah Oops, so right now the rotation is wrong actually. So we will come here and let's say um, preferences, render, and uh, movie. Okay, so let's say I think C axis, back C. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So fine then, uh, that's how you guys can uh, make, uh, I, th I hope you guys like this video, I think you guys learn, maybe you guys learn some stuff with this video or from this video. So if you like this video, like, share and subscribe and also if you want to me to come again on Sundays and if you want me to, uh, like if you guys have trouble with anything and if you want me to show that. Uh, you can call, like type in the comments that uh, I'm struggling with this thing and uh, if you can make some video like whatever just type it and uh, cool then so let's see let's meet in the next class Anna. so count, like type in the comment what to, what kind of videos you want to see because I don't have any idea so I just made a random stuff today so you guys can uh, guide me and uh, cool then if you guys like the video please subscribe share and like and also like drop in the comments what you want to see next